morning. As you can see, I've got another piece of 1075 steel here. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to harden this up and then I'm going to polish off one of the sides and I'm going to try and get the progression of temper colours to gradually move through the steel um, so I can learn about how the heat and the steel react and um, tempering coming, coming through. Cool, so uh, first part in this process is we're going to be cutting the steel into uh, 140 mil long segments. Uh, this is just so I have multiple pieces to uh, work with and I don't have to cut it once I've hardened it because that'll be harder. Right, so look see. Okay, so I'm on to the uh, next step of the process at the moment, uh, the process I'm using anyway. Uh, I'm trying to uh, bring the steel up to a temperature so I can pop it in the oil bath for hardening. Um, I don't know if I actually need to harden it to bring out temper colours in steel, but I believe that's the purpose of tempering, is to uh, you know bring hardened steel back down again to a uh, less brittle stage, so you can actually use it as a tool or something. Um, I'm also trying to regulate the temperature. So it does look to be a little cold at the moment. Um, and the way I'm doing that is trying to change the amount of air that's getting into the forge. It should bring it back up to temp. Cool, so I've just been heat, heat treated one. Uh, about to give another one a go. Getting it all ready. And Uh, heat treating and linseed oil. Never use motor oil. Okay. So currently sitting almost at 900 degrees. 900 is what I was aiming for. It's a bit hard to regulate though. Okay, so we've got our three pieces of hardened steel here. I've taken all the uh, scale and oxidization off the outside of all of them. I'm actually gonna go through three different processes of trying to uh, temper these. One of them is gonna go into an oven at about 300 degrees for an hour. So we're gonna pop that one in first. Uh, this one here, I'm gonna use a gas blowtorch. Um, I'm gonna try and heat the end up and bring the temper lines down. And the other one, I'm gonna pop into the forge and try and do the same thing, um, seeing if I can heat up one end and drag the temper lines down without overheating it. Uh, I expect this one to be the hardest. Uh, that one of course is real easy and yeah, this one is the one I'm mainly mainly aiming for. Kelp, so I've got a little gas bottle and this uh, tiny little torch here. What I'm going to try and do is uh, heat up this section or so of steel and uh, bring the temper lines down through it. And, uh, See if we can get a good graduation with uh, the different colour patterns. It's definitely moving through, but it's not moving through how I thought it would. So we'll learn this process a bit more, I'd say. Maybe if I heat up here a bit as well. It's all about 
experimentation and testing really. Uh, trying to learn how to how to do this. So I'm probably actually getting several things wrong, but um, what this is is this is it's my process of how I learn. So you you can let me know if I'm doing things wrong. Uh, I don't mind the feedback. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, this isn't supposed to be a definitive way of how to do this. It's uh, my playing around and learning how to do it myself. I think I'm starting to see a very light, faint yellow. Uh, the reason I'm going up and down the whole whole thing a bit is I want to keep the whole piece of steel relatively even colours. So as I move up, I'm not overly having to heat up a single piece. It's already nice and warm. Overheated it in the middle. Ah, oh, yeah, with me pushing over from side to side. I might do then. Try and beat past that point there. Did that work? And it goes very quick from. I should probably do a motion more like. Uh. Okay, so um, I was waiting for things to cool down and the other stuff to go through its hour. I was, um, I was a little disappointed in uh, how the steel went in the vise, so I found some other pieces lying around, and uh, these are just thick round pieces, and I tried to do them on this. Uh, anvil here and I actually found it went a lot better. Uh, it's probably because of the thickness of the steel it went actually much slower compared to how thin the other steel was. It's only about three, three and a half mils. Um, so I'm going to actually try to do it again. I've buffed it all off. Uh, should be able to get the temper lines on it again and uh, see if I actually have a bit more, bit more control this time. And I've also got another piece of this round steel here to have another play with. Here we go. So I definitely like it on the uh, anvil, it uh, slows the process right down. Uh, what I'm going to try and do at the moment is I'm just trying to actually push the blue through the whole thing, just try and get a more even colour. should apologise for how this video is jumping around probably a lot more. I'm um, definitely finding this process much more involved uh, and a lot harder. Um, just trying to get blue over the over the whole bottom bar here. Uh, came up with some pretty interesting reds and other colours on the uh, the top one. But um, yeah, I think I'm definitely learning. Yeah, and I'm gonna gonna try and apply this to some some knives and things that I make at a future point in time. Not too sure how good the temper would be for an actual knife blade. But if you were doing one just to look pretty or something, it'd probably be pretty good. Um, and it also, it is just on the surface, the colorization as well. Uh, so I expect it would take quite a bit to keep the, uh, the finish on there. Cool, okay, so this is the oven, uh, the one I put in the oven. Uh, it's been in there for about an hour and a half at the moment. I'm just going to have a quick open it up, pull it out, and see what the. It's not that good actually. Huh. 
Cool. Other people from class are here. <laughs> um, here you can see my. Oh, thanks, bro. <laughs> um, here you can see my attempts throughout the day, um, just tattooing away, and I've actually ended up with one that I think is uh, really good. Um, it's still hot at the moment. <laughs> but I'll flip it over so you can see the other side. Oh, I'll put it in a bit of oil. Oh well. Yeah, it's what you get for the shitty little table. But uh, yeah, the bluing itself has actually come up really well. Uh, I think some more experience and I'll, uh, I'll get a lot better.